Hi there guys, welcome back to another amazing episode here on Alia Homes. Today we're about to explore this exclusive listing behind me on the slopes of Landudno, nestled between Landudno Beach and Sandy Bay Beach. This is such a beautiful property, beautiful finishes. A little bit about it, it's listed at 68 million rand. It has six bedrooms, six full bathrooms. It's sitting on a lot of 1,376 square meters and has space for five cars. I'd like to thank the listing agent firstly before we get inside, Devon Tame from Hamilton's Property Portfolio for bringing us out to Cape Town to get this on the market for you guys. All right, I think it's time we begin the tour. Right, so we're gonna begin the tour down here on the driveway. Just behind me here, we've got the two garages, one car there, two can fit in there, and you can fit two cars on the drive, totaling five cars. And let's just talk about this outside area a little bit more. You can start to see the natural finishes of the home, the architectural design. The architect wanted to keep it in form with the mountain using a lot of stone, a lot of stone, and beautiful wood like this Bilal wood behind me this beautiful cladding here and you've got Bilal wood throughout the home and also within the house for the interiors there's another wood used which we'll get to in a moment so just have a look above also the roof how it's slanted down it actually cantilevers all the way from here down on to the deck which we'll get to in a moment creating a beautiful serene experience so I think it's time we step inside right, stepping inside Immediately you're greeted with a beautiful ocean breeze flowing through, beautiful open plan living space. Get that door. All right, so let's talk about this area. On the floor throughout this level, this is the main level of the home, it's a stack of flooring which goes beautifully. The idea is that you take off your shoes and you experience the house. They've got the rich rugs throughout the home, this stack of flooring, just giving that luxury feel. So this wall also is this beautiful resin throughout the home, just keeping with the natural elements. And as soon as you walk in, this beautiful foyer here, right? It has this stone featured wall, which you Im immediately just want to touch. You want to feel it when you're going down. That's the idea. A lot of textures, natural textures throughout this house, bringing you back to nature, back to the mountain slopes that we're on. This lovely skylight design above, bringing these beautiful sun rays down onto this lovely staircase. Everything's really well thought out. And of course, again, we've got the shutter off effect uh, cement wall over there. It's when they do the wooden, when they compress it with the wood, they take it off, they don't do anything else, they just leave it with a grain of wood that it was compressed with, giving a beautiful natural effect as well. All right guys, so let's step down into the living area of this home. Beautiful open plan living. To my left, we've got the kitchen, which we'll get to in a moment. To my right is the uh, formal lounge seating area. And over here as well, you've got the informal, cozy media room area, really snug. Okay, so let's talk about this area first. So we've got this beautiful couch. All the furniture is bespoke made. So the home isn't being sold fully furnished, but a lot of the furniture would have to stay as it was designed for this house. Of course, you could choose not to. So it's option to be furnished. Lovely artwork throughout. And above me, you've got these beautiful windows. And the idea is that you've got views from every, every anywhere you stand in this home, you're going to have a beautiful view. So those show you the mountain. If you want to look up now, You've got Table Mountain, you've got Clean Lear Copy, and you can just see them beautifully, and the blue sky, bringing beautiful lighting in. And it's designed that way because the roof literally cantilevers all the way down to the edge of this deck, which we're gonna explore in a moment, where during the day, the sun isn't so harsh, but you get that beautiful sunset. As soon as it passes that roof line, it's the time of day when it's sunset, bringing a beautiful light into the home. So during the day, you've got the light from there, which is the blue sky, natural light, but not harsh light, it's not direct sun. And then you've got the beautiful evening sunlight in front of me off the balcony over the ocean. 
All right, so beautiful bespoke furniture here, lovely rugs, lovely space. And moving into the kitchen, this also this table is an art piece. It was designed for this home. All Miele integrated appliances, massive oven. You've got your induction hub there as well. And over here, you've got your steam oven, regular oven, a warmer, and a scullery. They call it in South Africa, but you might know it as a pantry or a prep kitchen. Let's go inside and have a little look. Nice skylight above. Something important about this area which I want to talk about is the service entrance. Perfect for your chefs, your maids, uh, your workers, or linen services to come to the home to drop off the goods, what's needed. Um, yeah, so service entrance to this pantry area. Let's step on outside. So this home can actually be run as a business as well. It's got, the rooms are actually rated five star. They've got five star grading on the rooms because of the amenities that it has, which we'll get to in a moment. A little bit more about the kitchen, right? So this is a Rocco wood. This comes out throughout the home, especially in the rooms as well. It's absolutely beautiful. It's an indigenous wood. It's rich and it's very solid. All right, so another area here of the kitchen, just off the formal dining area, got this breakfast nook, informal dining, with lovely sea views, beautiful in the morning to sit here, watch the sea, have a cup of coffee, a croissant, and this lovely stone wall, which is a feature of the home, which we'll see better from the outside. And over here for this level, you've got your guests' powder room, also sea views from there, lovely single vanity design, warmer, and you've got towels over there as well. All right, so stepping out of this room, I think it's time we go and check out the deck. Come with me. Look at these doors. They open up all the way into the walls. They pocket, pocket doors into the walls, sliding. They also have these shutters as well. So if you wanted fresh air to come in, but not have the doors open, you can have that as well. And for privacy, look at this deck. This is what this home is about. Look at this view. Just so you know, 130 meters from where I'm standing, is the water's edge. Look how blue, beautiful, just a beautiful ocean. Love it. And at the end of the garden path, which we'll get to later in the tour, it has private beach access. So you, it's not the private beach, it's Sandy Bay Beach, but you've got private access to the beach from this property. We're at the edge of the nature reserve, so no one can ever build there. And it's a beautiful view. It's so serene. It's so tranquil. It's tranquil here. I can smell the Feinboss. It's just like situated in this beautiful indigenous uh, Feinboss surroundings. You've got to look at these boulders. You've got the mountains, the ocean. We're at the edge. This is so exclusive. It's a beautiful, beautiful property. So I love this cantilever design, as we've discussed before. Fantastic. You've got your lighting. You've got surround speakers throughout this level. Actually, in all the rooms as well, you've got surround speakers built into the ceilings. You've got your informal seating here, dining area here. And if you move over this way to this side of the balcony, like check the planes, just like going by seaplanes over the sea. Um, barbecue area, fully equipped, gas, ice machine, needs a little attention. Uh, sink, so yeah, you've got your barbecue station here, another nice seating area there as well. This does give you access to the lower level, which is the deck and the pool area, which we'll get to later in the tour. But for now, I think we need to step, off, step up inside and check out the first room of the home. Well, I can just feel that sea breeze. It's like a warm breeze today. And it's like this open plan experience. It's beautiful. I'd love to get a glass of wine right now and sit down somewhere and enjoy that view. All right, so another thing about this area, Gas, fireplace, which is fantastic for the winter to cozy up, keep you warm. Stepping on into the first suite of this home, come with me. Immediately greeted with the beautiful sound of the ocean, the sea breeze, that beautiful smell of the fain boss, we'll get there. The first thing I want us to look at in this room is the bathroom. So come up here. Beautiful wooden cladding. This is the Orocco wood. It's the full wall leading up to a lovely skylight, bringing natural light in. Beautiful freestanding bathtub polished cement, double vanity, mirror backdrop, but this is the best part. Look at this rain shower head, really big. And they've got this glass panel separating the main room and the bathroom. So all that light is coming in. You've got a beautiful ocean view while showering, exquisite. And here is the water closet. So a lot also again, the natural elements in this bathroom, the stones, the, the, the wood, really nice. So you've got the stucco flooring again, 
surround sound, the Arocco wood again around the beds, the cabinetry and also here, this is a furniture which almost has to stay with the property. The built-in wardrobes, you got a mini bar fridge. So this is why it's got five-star grading to be used as a guest suite. You've got air conditioning and look at this, the best part. Each of the six bedrooms has a private terrace designed specifically. And look at this one, the doors stack right into the wall, completely open plan, um, indoor, outdoor living. Look at this balcony, absolutely beautiful. The sun is out, the sea is shining. I'm loving it and all of the rooms have a balcony just like this. All right guys, so let's go check out the second room on this main level and then we'll go downstairs to explore the rest of the house. Come with me. All right, so the next suite is actually on the other side of this room that's past the kitchen. So if you want to come with me this way. All right, so here we go. I'm going to check out the second suite of the home. If you want to come on in. Again, immediately you see this beautiful, rich Arocco wood. The bathroom, exactly the same layout, skylight above, the wooden cladding, Arocco wood, double vanity with a polished cement, freestanding bathtub, a water closet there, and the shower. And guess what? You've got the same view of the ocean, obviously on the other side of the house. It is beautiful. Let's step out of the bathroom and check out the room. You've got the same features again, air conditioning, you've got your TV, mini bar, built-in closet, the beautiful built-in bed with the Arocco wood again. And look at this, you've got balcony access again. So private terrace, and you've got this beautiful stone feature of the home here to my left, which you're gonna see better. And below me here is actually the pool deck area. Look at the view. Beautiful frame boss again, exquisite. All right guys, I think it's time we go check out the lower level. Come with me. All right guys, we're back at the landing. Let's head downstairs, come with me. Beautiful staircase with a stacco floor. Lovely stone feature again, reminding me of the mountain. Awesome texture, lovely railings. Okay, so on this level, we've got six suites. Uh, sorry, we've got four suites totaling to the six in the home. The two in the middle are the larger ones. The two on the other end are similar to upstairs. We're gonna check out this one first. Before we do, to my right, there is the steam room in the pool deck area, which we'll get to in a moment. All right, so come this way. Stack of flooring continues. Look at the height of this door. Massive uh, heights downstairs, just like the upstairs. Again, similar layout and design to the rooms upstairs. Same amenities, five-star grading, private deck, sea views, beautiful today. I can hear the ocean. The sound of the ocean, again, is lovely. All right, so let's go check out the bathroom. We've got the Arocco wood, the Bilal wood on the deck, and the flooring in the bathroom. Double vanity on the polished cement, mirror backdrop, massive rain shower head again with a glass panel into the room and the water closet, lovely cladding behind and the freestanding bathtub. All right guys, so let's head out of this room and check out the other rooms on this level. Walking down, lovely features here. Again, lovely couch, the stone wall continues. Now, this is the second room on this level we're going to explore. Come on in. Now, this one's a little bit larger than the other rooms. We've got the walk-in wardrobes actually separated from the room over there. It has an office over here. Beautiful Arocco wood again. The whole room is air-conditioned. You know, there's also surround sound speakers downstairs. I haven't brought that up. The bathroom as well is a little bit bigger. Really lovely, actually. So you've got the lovely cladding again behind. Freestanding bathtub. A much larger double vanity this time, but also with the polished cement and a large mirror. And then, this is your water closet, but it's like oh, semi-outside water closet. So this door opens up all the way, but you've got like this uh, privacy feature here with the wooden slats giving you privacy. This is really cool. The sea is right there. Very nice. All right, so let's head out of the bathroom, check out the deck, rain shower head. Again, beautiful deck, Bilal wood, lovely railings, beautiful sunshine, got mountain views now from this room and the sea views, 
Spain boss vegetation, the indigenous vegetation right in front of me. Smells delicious. I can hear birds tweeting in the tree over there. Really, really cool. So heading back inside, we'll check out the other suite. Again, look at the rich wood. This Arocco wood brings such a great character to this house and in every room. It's a br brilliant feature. All right, so stepping out into the hallway, this, uh, other features here I'd like to talk about. You've got linen cupboards, you've got the uh, data server room and the service room with like the electro bo electrical box and things like that. All right, so over here in this corner is an office area. Um, you could do something else here. You can make a little cozy reading nook. All right, so let's check this room out. This is the second room, which is larger than the other rooms. Also, as you can see, quite big office set up here with a desk. You've got the uh, built-in wardrobe over there and the bathroom over here. Beautiful deck. The Arocco wood again. Love the height of the ceilings. The doors, look, they just open up and stack into the walls, giving you that amazing indoor-outdoor living experience, which you want in Cape Town. Beautiful Bilal wood. And this is a corner balcony. It's larger than the other rooms. Really beautiful, like in the vegetation, can literally touch it. It's fantastic. This is a really cool room. I think this would be my room. If I had this home, this would be my room. Fantastic room. All right, so check out, out, uh, check out the bathroom quick. Freestanding bathtub, the wooden cladding again behind, the double vanity, polished cement, lovely rain shower head, the walk-in water closet, which opens up to nature again with the privacy feature. All right guys, so let's step out of this room and check out the last room of the house. All right, so let's check out bedroom number six, suite number six. Again, the same layout that we've seen before, same amenities, same finishes. Going to the bathroom, freestanding bathtub, beautiful rain shower head, the water closet, the cladding behind, double vanity, smooth cement, mirror backdrop. All right, so stack of flooring leading to an exquisite outdoor space. Again, every room in this house, all the suites were designed to have their own private deck area. And they really pulled that off well, especially with these fantastic tuck in slide in doors that just tuck in so nicely into the wall. It's giving this beautiful space, this like open outdoor indoor living. And the views again, beautiful. I love the fane boss. It smells so rich here down on this level, close to the fane boss. I love these indigenous plants of South Africa, especially here in Cape Town on the slopes of Table Mountain. They are beautiful. All right, so let's go back inside. There is one more area on this level that I want to show us before we head out to the outside pool area. So this space was designed to be semi-outside, semi-inside. Now this staircase here leads up to the garage, so the garage access can come down here. They were using it as a gym in the summer, so you can put your gym equipment out here. Also an entertainment area, like a playroom. You, as you can see, they have a table tennis set up. It wraps around here. Let me just have a quick look if you want to come. It wraps around here, giving you garden access this way, down to the garden, which will also lead to the beach access down there, which we'll get to a little bit later in the tour. So yeah, this area, you can really use it for whatever you'd like. I would recommend it to be like a playroom. Table tennis is a great idea. I'd probably put a gym out here with nice gym equipment. So this is extra pool deck furniture, which isn't outside right now. And down there to my left is another service room, which has some pumps in for the pool. All right, guys, so let's head back inside. It's the last stop we've got to do on this floor before we head to the pool deck. And that's this area here. So again, you've got this beautiful luxury rug. The idea is you can take your shoes off. I've mentioned it before. And you can walk around this uh, home barefoot and it will just feel luxury. So you've got the rich rugs, the stack of flooring. It's a lovely luxury feel. So in here is actually a steam shower room. Really cool. It's white mosaic. Very, very nice. Okay, and over here is the full bathroom, which serves the pool area, because the pool and the deck is just over there. And there's actually a door in here, which leads to the pool deck area as well. So it has access from the other side. Okay, guys, it's time we head down to the deck. 
On the way, you can see this beautiful stone wall feature that flows beautifully from the inside to the outside of the house. And we're going to see this huge stone wall feature a little better from over there. Heading down, lovely footlights, Bilal wood deck. That's Bilal with a B. And of course, you've got a pool. So this pool is salt water. It's solar heated. It's nine meters long, so you can get a good lap in. It also has a beautiful water feature, creating, adding to the serenity and the tranquility of this home and this space. Obviously, you've got your lounges here, and up there is the service room, which I mentioned earlier from the gym area inside. So great space. Now moving off of this decking, and standing here actually, I want you to look up and focus on the stone feature there. Just have a look at it. It's really beautiful. You can see the facade of the home and the, um, the natural elements, how it's blending into Table Mountain. The stone is also, I think, from a local quarry as well. So yeah, very, very cool. Okay, walking down to explore the rest of the garden. Lighting down here as well, which you see better at night time. Just beautiful indigenous vegetation, plants, the fane boss smells beautiful. We've got the sea views, of course. Under here, this is quite important to know. There's five rain, ca rain catchment tanks. So altogether, it can hold around 12,500 liters of water. They also have a UV filtration system, which they don't have turned on right now. But it, these tanks can provide enough water to power the entire home fully occupied and the pool. Right, heading down the rest of the garden. Just feels so like in nature. I feel like I'm walking on a mountain trail here. It's really beautiful. And we'll come down these steps to one of the most exclusive features of this home. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> Love it. I feel like I'm hiking on Table Mountain right now. Beautiful garden. So remember, we're at the edge of the nature reserve here. Go a little ducking, a little bit overgrown right now. So two paths, one leading back up to that entertainment space with the gym, the table tennis table that comes down here. And then this path down here leads to your gate, which goes to the pathway going down straight to the beach. So yeah, guys, this is your backyard. Really, really cool. Smells delicious. I love it. All right, guys, so that does end the outside area and I will see you upstairs. All right, guys, that does wrap up our tour today of this beautiful Landano home here nestled at the edge of Landano between Sandy Beach and Landano Beach. Beautiful, tranquil setting. I've absolutely loved it. I'd like to thank Dev and Tame again for making it possible for us, bringing us out to Cape Town to get this on the market for you guys. Another reminder, this home is listed at 68 million Rand. If you'd like to purchase the property, send me an email. Our contacts are in the section below. If you have any comments, please drop them in the section below. Please stay to watch the sunset as well. We're going to get that for you. It's going to be beautiful tonight, especially here in Landano. The sunset's right over there. It's going to be epic. All right, guys, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.